3, 55, oh, oh, 35, five. 35 five. seconds slow. Yeah, that's the Duquesne engineering car. And that will, that does not look like there's been any damage, but is that going to be a full course yellow? Is that going to be a local yellow? Or is that potentially going to be a safety you car? don't often see that from an LMP2 car at no. all. I was going to say, that's a really rare sight. Incredibly rare sight. I don't think I've ever seen a P2 car do that. No. And that is at the entrance to the fire. first chicane. Yeah, fire in the, in the air box. In the air box there. Is that? It looks like just it looks like an engine failure, but it's the mm. debris in the air box. Has it just overheated after an I hour behind the safety be car and finally gone? Nah, OK, I can't do this. Was he still on slick tires and going really slowly as well on top of that safety car period? So basically the car's not getting fed enough cooler air going through it. No, I think he had made a stop. He's done. He, he has made 14 stops. Some of the LMP2 cars have only made 12. So Jean-Baptiste Simonard, JB Simonard, rally crosser and Porsche racer. Unfortunately, that is the end of the road for Duquesne. The fire in the airbox is is flames coming up through the induction system, so it was backfiring. It may I've just be it. an electronic glitch that is firing off fuel in the induction system. Yeah, it's a slow zone they've created there yeah. with that board. Uh, 2017 was the first year we saw the Gibson-powered LMP2 formula. I think at that time, Anthony, in racing, if I've seen two or three major engine failures of that engine, that's as many as I've seen. That is definitely the end of the road for Duquesne. And hopefully the onboard fire extinguisher will save the car. Not sure there's any saving that power unit. Wisely stepping away. Four point seven seconds now the lead gap with Rio Hirakawa closing in on Robert Kubica who is doomed to lose that lead with a penalty he must take very shortly. Well, so they're, they're 32 seconds, or Robert Kubica is 32 seconds ahead.